Now in 2005, I happened to be in Tanzania, yeah, and it was at the height of the presidential campaigns, featuring a man called Jakaya Kikwete, Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete, who was campaigning for the presidency under the CCM ticket. Now a very curious incident happened during a public meeting uh, or a rally, a political rally that uh, Kikwete was addressing. A man casually walked up to the dais, ignoring the security detail, ignoring everybody else. They just walked very casually. Of course, they were quickly arrested. Now, the story which came out after that is what just knocked me over. Yeah. I was told by my Tanzanian friends that man's madawa, yeah, his witchcraft, had proved to be less powerful than the witchcraft which was protecting the presidential candidate. And that is why people were able to see him. Because had his witchcraft worked, he'd have been invisible. And he'd have managed to walk right through and do whatever he wanted to do. <laughs> now, curiously, during the same presidential campaigns, at one point, Jakaya Kikwete was delivering an address. And then suddenly, he fainted and he passed out completely. <laughs> that same evening, he came back on live TV and reassured people he was okay. Yeah, he said the problem was that uh, maybe because he had not eaten. Because, he told the people, he had been fasting. I don't know what to make out of that. <laughs> maybe you will. You'll know what, why that happened. Yeah. Back to Kenya. Now, before Kalonzo Musioka got elected into parliament, he went to see a man called Mulu Mutisia in those days. Now, after they struck a very close friendship, the old Mulu Mutisia promised Kalonzo he'll be in parliament very soon. Mulu Mutisia then organized a very big traditional ceremony where it is said seven bulls were slaughtered. Yeah, now the number seven is a significant number, <laughs> but that's a story for another day. Now, after this ceremony, shortly after this ceremony, one of the most curious things which remains a mystery up to this day happened yeah, in the constituency of Kalonzo Musioka. The sitting MP yeah, was sitting talking to some people, an AP, an administration policeman, came up to him and shot him dead. And shortly after that, there was a by-election, and guess what? Kalonzo Musioka was in parliament. To date, several decades later, nobody has been able to explain why this administration policeman walked up and shot the member of parliament dead. It has never been explained how and why. And uh, take note of this fact, that member of parliament was extremely popular in that constituency. And it was said that his madawa <laughs> was very strong, his witchcraft was very strong. It was impossible to unseat him from parliament. Yeah, the only thing that would happen is that he would resign, step down. But others removing him from parliament, impossible. His madawas were too strong. Yeah, I'm just repeating what <laughs> locals were saying. Okay, that's not me, that's not my views. Now, in Mombasa's coastal town, the young men there have a certain witchcraft medicine. Yeah, it's powderish. What happens is that you rub it on your hands, and if there's a girl you want, and you think this girl has been playing hard to get, an Onesha Maringo, etc., etc., all you do is walk up to her, and you politely greet her, and make sure... You shake her hand, and then you just walk away and watch what will happen next. To quote these coast boys, she will start following you around like a dog. <laughs> now, if you, have, if you have a dog that likes you, you know how it behaves. Yeah, you go here, it's with you, you go there. It's always close to you, always wagging its tail. Now, if you have lived at the coast, kuna <laughs> majabu Mombasa, nakwambia. If you have lived at the coast, you may be familiar with uh, a few things, yeah? But if you just live in Nyali, you just go to the swimming pool to a local hotel, you don't mix with the locals, you may not have any clue. In another incident, yeah, a young man identified an attractive married woman. And this woman was married to a very rich man, yeah? And she used the same dawa, yeah, to get that married man. I gave boxyake. 
And the next thing that was happening is that this married woman was withdrawing money from her account to buy this young man a very expensive printer. Yeah, you know, a printing press worth about half a million Kenya shillings. And guess what? This young man who administered this dower yeah, on the unsuspecting rich woman was already married himself. Yeah, this was business. <laughs> it was nothing personal. It was just business. Now, I'm well aware that uh, there are many on this channel who are extremely educated. Yeah, to them, witchcraft does not exist. Yeah, witchcraft only affects you if you believe. If you don't believe, it doesn't touch you. It can never touch you. Well, that's okay. Except that I wonder whether these people who have this belief, I wonder whether they know that what they're saying and what they believe contradicts what is in the Holy Bible concerning witchcraft. In my view, in fact, it is very naive for somebody to be so advanced yeah, and to think that uh, they have dealt with American politics, they have looked at politics in Europe, and therefore politics in Africa is the same. <laughs> that would be the most naive person on earth to think something like that. And unfortunately, very many of us believe that, that politics in Africa, ah, as we know, we understand the politics in Africa. Witchcraft doesn't exist. People don't visit witch doctors before campaigns. People don't go to witch doctors to deal with their political enemies. <laughs> yeah, that's what most people believe. Well, let me just leave you their beliefs. But I've given you the facts. And I've given you a few spicy stories. So make up your mind for yourself. There is no doubt that witchcraft is a very controversial topic. Many people doubt that it even exists, although the very same people believe the Holy Bible, the Word of God. The terrible suffering and frustration of very many can actually be linked back to witchcraft. You may have heard a lot about witchcraft in the past, but my video right here on this channel will open your eyes like they've never been opened before. You see, to fight and overcome anything, you need knowledge. You need lots of information so that you understand it completely. You'll not even know whether you're a victim or not. You will never know if you've just been using it as an excuse or it is the real reason for the frustration in your life. A word of caution, you might find as you start taking in this video, you start feeling sleepy or you get distracted. Pray 
and resist it and be alert because spiritual warfare is real. Get knowledge, act on it and get victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Click on the link that has appeared on the top right hand corner of your screens and go to that video right away. Until next time, this is Chris Kumekuja.